Hey guys, so we got some new roses today. I got, hold on, I can't control my camera. I got these little guys today. They are double knockout roses. You don't get just one knockout, you get two. I got some hanging baskets. They're a little mod podge of a little bit of everything. Man, they smell so nice. Um, I got these and fun fact. I got a little chili pepper. Look, uno paquín chili. Mira. They're so cute. They have little peppers on them. This one, you may keep in the pot. But we're going to be ha making hanging basket spots right there. I already got one. I got to get the other one. So we're going to do that one. And I'm going to weed the, uh, the garden and go over some of the fun stuff for my, not my knockout roses. Okay. beauty that we got today it's called a double knockout rose and now knockout roses are pretty they pack a punch they grow big um, they grow about three to four feet um, in height they do grow out they get pretty big hey mochi um, they now fun fact about these ones they are self-cleaning roses which means you don't have to trim them anymore you don't have to trim them like I do my regular roses which you do need a prune and trim these ones you don't need to do it they're really low maintenance and they're really good I've been looking out I've been looking for a knock a good knockout rose decent price you know me I'm a good hunter for deals um, I got this little guy and I've been waiting two years to find a knockout rose. I told myself I was going to get one, and I got one. This one is, it's considered cherry red, but it's more of a pink. But it's called, a, um, so it blooms twice as much as a regular knockout rose. That's why it's called a double knockout. These do really good in um, spring and fall. They bloom a lot. Um, early spring through, especially through spring and then early fall so right around like september october they do really well um fun fact they do do really good in low so if you live in texas um like i do uh, these will be really good in the winter they they will survive because we don't get harsh winters now if you have harsh winters uh, they may not survive i may have to like cover them but they're really good flowers um they, they do have thorns, not as much as my big spiky ones that I have, but this is a really good low maintenance. It's like my other little mini rose bush over there, my little peach ones. Um, very low maintenance, don't really have to, you don't even have to trim these. That's the best part about them. They trim themselves. It's oh, self-cleaning roses. Can you believe it? So let's plant it in. We're gonna wet the soil before we get in there a little bit, just so it doesn't get any shock from transplanting, because sometimes that does happen. So we're gonna get that one uh, planted in and then mulch it over, and it'll be our new little guy for my garden. Okay, so we did plant, I planted, I dug a hole that's about the same length as the bucket that it's coming in. Um, I want to give it a, just a, I want to put it a little bit lower than what it is. Um, it is going to lose some of the, the soil from the bucket um, that I have. So, um, when, before I put it in, I'm going to wet the soil on the inside so it doesn't get any shock for when it goes in. Because sometimes, I, um, when I did transplant some of my other roses, they did wilt a little bit because the roots were just not accompanied to the, the soil. So I'm going to wet it a little bit so it doesn't go, oh my god. So we're just going to wet it just a little bit. That way it has a little bit of a cushion.
Look, look up. Burn, baby, burn. You know I appreciate my kids. <laughs>look at me i'm becoming a little old english tea uh, tea garden lady um why are my roses not as big as those next door <laughs> maybe they're a different variety i don't like our roses not being as big as those next door garden lady all my little guys are looking good and then my new guy is right around the corner hey buddy you're looking great now, guys, when you first get them in, please make sure to water them really good. I normally water mine about 8 o'clock when the sun goes down and everything. But since this little guy uh, got planted earlier, we want to make sure that he was all nice and wet and he's comfy and he's um, bundled in for the night. But remember our little hibiscus from last week? Well, the red ones bloomed and the white ones, these little guys... Are about three or four days from blooming look how many buds are on it that one over there already had one it's popping up another one right now and my little mini teacup roses look how cute these are you guys look how voluminous these guys are if I can find a little mini one look if I can focus man my camera is not working for anything today look how cute this is look how cute you are you are so cute, guys. Look, just all the cutest little buds in the world. All right. Well, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed my video today. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed my video today. Um, I'm going to try and do a weekly video on a new flower each week. Um, if y'all like my videos, please like and subscribe. Share them. Um, I have more tips and tricks for this, and I do other fun things. So um, I'll see y'all next time. I'm I'm Victoria, and they're gonna be looking really. My flowers are gonna look really nice. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.